Back on the town hall with a look at how pet ownership changed during the pandemic. You probably heard the concerns that people were going out and getting new pets while they were stuck at home and that a lot of folks eventually gave them up as their lives started getting busy and returning to normal. Well, there is a new study that is out from the ASPCA and Canisius College just published and it shows that really wasn't necessarily the case. Researchers didn't find any evidence of an increase in dog or cat ownership during the pandemic. And while rehoming or giving up your pet did rise, the increase was slight. And it turns out there was not a flood of animals going to shelters. A lot of people who couldn't care for their new pets simply gave them up to family or friends. When researchers broke it down to specific groups, though, they did find some interesting trends. We talk with that today about that today with Canisius professor Christy Hoffman. We found that younger individuals, younger adults are more likely to have acquired an animal during the pandemic and they were also in the higher risk group in terms of having had to rehome an animal during the pandemic as well. We also saw a similar pattern in families that had children, young children in the home as well. And interestingly, when we asked people what factors maybe uh, were they concerned about, and we looked at that in relation to uh, asking or their answer to the question about if they were considering rehoming a pet, we found that those who had housing related concerns or concerns about accessing veterinary care were more likely to indicate they were considering rehoming an animal in the near future. So that's what they found. What should we take away from it? Melissa Tebow from the ASPCA says while the situation could be different at some of our local shelters, it's important to find out that the perception of mass adoptions and then surrenders to shelters isn't the case nationally. And the advantage to knowing that that is not the case nationally is that that's not where the focus needs to be right now. We can redirect that focus to the supports that shelters and rescues need more broadly um, because they certainly need to they certainly continue to need our support. Um, so if anybody's interested in supporting the animal welfare organization in their area, we encourage them to reach out. There may be specific supplies that they need. They certainly continue to need the support of foster homes. And of course, adoption is always a, a fabulous way to support. And Melissa says the study really emphasizes that if you have to give up a pet, your network of family and friends should be the first resource in trying to find a new home.